All right, guys, we have a half inch line here. And what we're gonna be doing is tying a close hitch to a half hitch to a lock. All right, three knots and one. All right, so here's our platform. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it right over the front like that. Cross it over, come up underneath. Very simple. So you wanna have these two lines sitting together and then this one crossed, or it can go that way. It, it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> Whenever you learn to do this, you'll find your preference. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit more tail on this. Boom, I got it tight. So now I have my working end and I'm gonna ha I have this line here. I'm gonna take my working end, I'm gonna slide it behind this line. I'm gonna take my bitter end and I'm gonna put it through this hole right here. Boom, just like that. Pow. Now you got a clove hitch to a half hitch. All right, so now we're gonna work on the lock. The lock's gonna be right in here. So with this line, you can break it apart and create a gap here. Ropes have memory, so they go back to their form that they have been placed in. So whenever you break this apart, have that gap there, you're gonna take your bitter end here and slide it through one of them gaps. Boom, that's a lock, all right? So now why this is important is because whenever you tie off something underwater that's gonna be left for a certain amount of time, especially in current tides or waves, that current's just gonna work this knot the entire time you're gone away from your project. So the reason why you do all this is so that way you secure your work environment, your, your load, whatever you're working on underwater. You know, you can do as many knots as allowed and shoot. You know, if you can take duct tape underwater and you can tape it from right here all the way down just to like majorly secure it. <clears throat> but right here, this, is just gonna work, get worked all the time, 24 seven, as long as you're gone. And you gotta make sure you're secure your load and make sure you, you tie off what you are tying off and you do not want your knot to come undone. All right guys, so that's basically it. So you have your clove hitch to your half hitch to three locks. All right, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy it. Uh, Tell me what you guys want to see more and we can get more knots going. All right. Take it easy, guys.